Hi guys, it's Deborah from Total Transformation Training. Today we have a super core class for you. It begins with a short instructional video teaching you about your core muscles, what they are, where they are, and how to train them effectively for maximum results. Then we're going to follow up with a full ab assault. That's right, this is a power packed core session. So grab a mat, let's get ready, and let's do this. Let's get started. As we get started today, I want to introduce my awesome team member, Tania. So Tania has agreed to work with us, be our incredible model to show you how to do technique properly so that you get the most out of those exercises. As we get started and begin talking about our core section, you have to understand there's multiple muscles that make up the front of your body and the back of your body so that you have a full core. Remember your core supports your upper body and your lower body. It's what connects you. So we're gonna get started in talking about the four different abdominal muscles that you have. The first one we're gonna talk about today is your rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis muscle fibers run vertical. They originate from your ribs and insert into the pelvis. Their job in life is flexion of the trunk, or otherwise known as bending or curling your body forward. This muscle group is the most superficial muscle group. That's why you see them, and that's why these guys are known as the six-pack abs. Okay, now that we understand that the muscle fibers run vertical, what you need to understand is movements. Remember when you contract the muscle, you shorten the muscle fibers. So every time you're contracting, you're shortening those, and if they start at the beginning, at the top, and run vertical and insert, it's muscles and movements that contract and pull you together. So let's show you some exercises that do exactly that. So I'm gonna have to lay down for me. So T is going to start with what's called our basic crunch. So she's going to make sure her back is down. You saw she tilted her pelvis, put her back down, hands either across her chest or behind her head. Now she puts them behind her head. Just do that for me real quick. She, if you notice, she's not even touching her head. It's just here because you don't want to lay something full on your neck. And what we want her to do is tighten up right through here and do a crunch for me. So let's do a few of those. Good. Now, as she's going, you can see she has great form here. She has some space between her chin and her neck. That really opens this up so that, she, again, she's not straining her neck. As she curls up, she lifts her shoulders up off the ground, tightening right here. So she's going to breathe in. She's going to breathe out. Every time she comes up, she's going to tighten and push that stomach down. That's a great crunch, okay? In the gauging, the muscle fibers running vertical. All right, the next one that I want to have her do is a full sit-up. Okay, ready? So she's going to roll all the way up. Good. And if you notice, she curls down really slow, protecting her spine. She's curling under what I call a seat and then rolling down one vertebrae at a time. What I don't want her to do is just flop down. Yeah, and then sling her body up and then flop down. That's a no-no. So what she's doing is engaging those muscles, pulling it all the way up and slowly rolling down. So she's gonna exhale coming up, inhale coming down. So that's the full sit up. The next one I'm going to have her do is a reverse crunch. Most of the time we think of the rectus abdominis only up here with the crunches, but remember those fibers insert down into your hips. They run all the way vertical and attack. So she puts her legs up in the air and does a reverse crunch and tilts her legs in and squeezes and then pulls them right back to here and then tightens right there and squeezes. Then she's engaging the muscle fibers all the way down at the bottom. So that's where reverse crunch is coming great because you're tilting that pelvis and tightening. Great. Perfect. All right, T, now, now I'm going to have T stand up for us, and we're going to talk about standing abs. So we're talking about the crunching movement, tilting your shoulders forward and tucking under works these fibers, these muscle fibers that run vertical. So she turns sideways and does um, what we call our, our hip-hop abs, the Ashanti abs work. 
because it works these muscle fibers and you're just standing. So do a standing crunch for me, see? So if you notice, she is curling her upper body and watch her pelvis, her pelvis is tilting up. So she's curling and curling front, perfect. So that's a standing crunch, okay? So you can work your abs standing and you can work them on the floor. Working the rectus abdominis is pulling the upper body forward and the lower body together. Okay, now our second group of muscles that we're gonna talk about are our obliques. There are two types of oblique muscles, the internal obliques and the external obliques. The external oblique muscle fibers run diagonal. They originate from the ribs and they insert into the iliac crest of the pelvis. Their job in life is to support the torso for side bends and rotations. So when you're doing twisting motions or bending to the side, you are engaging the obliques. The internal oblique lies just under the external oblique and its muscle fibers run diagonal as well. The muscle fibers originate from the iliac crest of the pelvis and run diagonally upward and insert into the ribs. Its job in life is to help support during side bends and rotations. These two muscles, the internal and the external oblique, work together to help create rotational movements. Okay, as you saw in the picture, the obliques work, they connect on the sides and they support your body in rotation. So everything that you do with rotations or lifting to the sides works your oblique. And here are some of the basic exercises you're going to see on videos and people do. We want you to know how to do them right. So let's start with a twist crunch, T. So she's going to put her uh, hands here, and then she's going to make this diagonal line. You ready? Okay. And if you notice, good, she's making an imaginary diagonal line across. And creating that diagonal line creates that twist. So she's twisting from her upper body. So remember, she's going to exhale, inhale, exhale when she comes down, and she's rotating the upper body. That rotation is what works her oblique. Now I'm going to have her make it a little harder, and we're going to go into a bicycle. Ready? So she's still rotating, but what makes this harder is now she's lifting her legs up. And to keep good form, which she has, she has to really engage her ab muscles hard, keep her back flat, and then rotate to engage those muscles. Perfect. Good. Now, if she wants to make it even harder, she's going to create a longer lever. So now I'm going to have her straighten her legs out and do like scissors. Perfect. This is like level three. This is harder because, again, it creates a longer lever from this pivot point, which are her hips. Awesome. All right. Now, T, if you'll stand up, we're going to show them some standing crunches or standing twists to work those obliques. This first one's what I call a boxer ab. So if you want to turn forward, just hold your hands here. Now, she's steadying her body. If you notice, she's only twisting from the top. Now, if you will just draw in your stomach really hard and squeeze it as if someone is going to hit you, you've got to tighten it that hard, you're going to feel those sides burn, okay? So this is the rotation that's working those obliques. Awesome. Okay, show them a sumo side crunch that you can do. So again, her hips are still, and she's going side to side. Perfect. And what she's going to stretch, and she's going to squeeze it. Remember, contracting shortens the muscle fiber, so she's going to squeeze it and pull it together. And those are great ways to do standing and floor work on your obliques. The transverse abdominis is located just underneath the obliques. It is the deepest, most internal muscle of the abdominal region. It's actually a big, broad sheath that wraps around your body, wraps around your spine for protection. Its job in life is compression of the abdominal contents. It holds everything together. This muscle is a significant component of the core. Okay, this next section is your transverse oblique. It is the only muscle fiber, as you saw in the picture, that runs horizontal. And it's the deepest, most internal muscle. And the only way to really get to it is compression. And that means pulling everything in and tightening. That's why we stress breathing so hard because breathing is key in training your muscles to network down and go flat. 
okay? If you don't do your breath properly, you can literally push your muscles out and then you'll protrude them out. And none of us wants protruding abs, do we? Uh-uh, we want them all flat and tight. So learning how to breathe and pull it in and tighten what, is what works the best. On your transverse oblique, because it's the deepest, it basically holds, its job is to hold the contents of your internal organs together. So it's a big sheet that runs across it and it runs all the way across your back too. So it runs all the way around. And that's why a lot of times we do exercises for our back as well as the front to really create support and a strong core. Many times people have back problems simply because their stomach is so much out here and they've got extra weight pulling them forward. So their back has to work overtime just to maintain the proper balance and proper positioning. So a lot of times if this is really weak and it's pushed out here, you're going to have back issues. So to help your back, strengthen your core and do your back. So let's talk about how to do compression exercises, really pulling everything in. So I'm going to go ahead and have T stand up. And so I'm going to have her turn this out. I'm going to have her purposely kind of push her stomach out and then pull it in so you can see. So she's going to in, just relax and inhale. And then she's going to exhale and pull everything in really tight. So you're going to inhale and let it go. And then exhale and pull it in. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, pull it in. Good. Keep going there for me. So after having children, I think uh, most of you know I have four boys. And so after having four kids, this was a major exercise that I did to flatten my stomach back out. I had to learn how to pull everything tight because when you're pregnant or you're overweight, everything gets stretched out. So you're gonna pull everything back in. So this, it doesn't look like much, but you can really feel it, right? If you really focus on pulling in tight. So that's one great way that you can do standing in the store, in the grocery line. Um, I used to do it washing dishes. So I practice pulling my stomach in every time I wash dishes. Thank you. It <laughs> works great, right? Okay, so now I'm going to have her do a plank for us. And we're going to talk about proper positioning. Because in a plank, you're not really moving traditionally in a traditional plank. There's a lot of variations, but if she's on a plank here for me, and she's got a great plank position. One, she, her body needs to be strong. So she's tightening her shoulders. She's keeping a straight line from her shoulders to her hips to her ankles all the way through. And she's going to tighten her glutes just a little bit, tighten her shoulders, and her body's nice and strong. And then the other thing that she's really going to do with working is pulling her stomach up, okay? So we don't want it to, and she does, you probably said, sure, but her stomach's very flat underneath. We don't want it to hang down. We want to pull your stomach up and create that intra-abdominal pressure and that tightness of pulling everything in so you're working that deep, transverse abdominis. Okay, we're back for our full ab assault. Ready, T? Let's go. All right, she says, bring it on. I got this, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with our standing work that we kind of demonstrated in the first part. We're gonna put it all together, then we're gonna go to the mat and then start showing you exercises from beginner levels, some intermediate, and even some advanced. Each exercise is gonna be about 20 seconds long and you're gonna have an awesome workout when you're done. It's ab assault for a reason, right? All right, let's do it. So she's gonna start with our standing crunch. Ready, T? All right, here we go. And again, good. So if you notice, again, perfect. As she's turned to the side, you can see she's tilting forward and that we call it tilt, tuck, and tighten. So she's tilting her shoulders forward here tucking her pelvis up here, as you see, kind of coming up, and then she's tightening her abs, okay? Ready? All right, now add a twist to it. Good, so now she's working those obliques because she is doing a twisting movement. Good, so let's have you turn to the front and show them. Excellent, this is a great way to do abs in different exercises, especially high intensity work. If you don't wanna have to go down to the floor, you can do standing abs, it works awesome. All right, now let's go into our boxer move. Again, she's not twisting her hips. Her hips are still. Her movement's from up here, really working the upper section of her obliques. Awesome, nice and tight again. Pull, tight, hold, draw that stomach in. The more you pull it in, the harder you tighten, the better results you're gonna get. All right, ready? And now let's take her down on the ground and we're gonna start with our crunches. So the first thing I'm gonna have her do is a basic crunch. 
All right, hands back behind her head. Ready and go. Perfect. Again, she is rolling up. Remember, breathing. We talked about breathing. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome. Perfect. Good. So this is our basic crunch. Now I'm going to have her come up just a level and keep crunching, but I want to do a little bit of a foot lift. Good. So now she's tilting that pelvis up a little bit every time she lifts the foot. She tilts and lifts. Tilts and lifts. Good. So now she is engaging those rectus abdominis, those muscle fibers, all the way down. And she's working her deep internal muscles because she's breathing properly. You can't hear her, but she's exhaling every time she comes up. Super job. All right. From here, let's go to a full sit-up. Ready? All right. So here she goes. Excellent. Good. Great form. Remember, protecting her spine. She wants to use her muscles on the way down as well as on the way up. Okay? So she's going slow, so she has to contract her muscles all the way up. Good. Perfect. Three, two, excellent, and roll it. All right, how about a sprinter ab now, T? Okay, so here she goes. Now she's going to come all the way up. Good. Again, she's coming up, pulling the arm. Perfect form, if you notice. She's really coming up and all the way down. Yep, and she's got her legs down or up. Either way, it works awesome. Super. It's even more advanced, bring them down. Just a few more there. Awesome. Good. Excellent. Thank you, T. And we can scoot you back just a little bit so you're more in the center. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to do a twist crunch. Okay, let's start there. Ready? And we're going to have her alternate sides. And go. Good. So again, she's lifting and twisting. Lifting and twisting. Rotating from that shoulder. She's keeping her arm open. She doesn't want to roll in like this or just roll side to side and swing her head. She wants to lift her shoulders and twist it over. Great job. From here, we're gonna take it up a level. Let's go into a bicycle. Now she's got her legs up. Again, her hips are her pivot point, and now she's got weight out here on the end because of her legs. That's that weight, and it makes it harder to hold the correct position with her back flat and down. Remember, no space here. Push this lower back down flat. All right, we're going to take it up another level and do scissors. Perfect. So now this is a long lever that she's moving. Are your abs burning yet? She's like, yes, they're already burning. And we have so much more to do. It's a full ab assault. So if you're not feeling it, that means you're not squeezing that stomach harder. So squeeze that stomach hard, tight, strong, good. Just a few more. Excellent. And rest. Good. Okay, from here we're going to go into what we call a bow and arrow, okay? Um, and it's basically, she's going to come to a seated position. Good, we're going to have her start with the singles um, and do it very basic. So she's going to come back here. She's got a good seat that protected her spine. She's going to pull this through this side first. All right, ready? And she's going to pull this side like she is just pulling a bow and arrow. Good. Now, if she wants to protect her back or maybe she's not strong enough, she can take this arm and hold it down on the ground and pull. Good. Get a couple there. Perfect. Good. And if you want to do your other side for me. Good. Like that. Or if she needs to, she can set this arm down. Excellent. Good. Now, let's show them the full advanced bow and arrow. So now she's going to alternate. Good. Do you see her set position? She got her stuff ready. Sunk her step back just a little bit to take pressure off her spine and tighten her stomach. Perfect, perfect. Good. So she's blowing out every time she comes up and down, squeezing her stomach. Just a few more. Excellent. Great bow and arrows. These work too, right? Yes. <laughs> Good. And awesome. All right, now I'm going to have her roll all the way down. Good. Another one you'll see, we call it body X's. A lot of times, some of these exercises are the same thing, they just have different names. Okay, so we call these body X because if you're looking from above, you can see how the X, how your body looks like an X. Now we're gonna start with beginner level with a bent knee. Ready? Here we go. Excellent, perfect. Again, she's lifting and crunching, bringing this diagonal line straight here and exhaling every time she comes up. Perfect form, looks excellent. Good, so we're gonna do it in a bent leg. Perfect, now we're gonna take this up a level and I'm gonna have her straighten her legs out. Perfect, and lift up. Now if you're looking down, you can truly see an X. Good, so this is an advanced level, super. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. Keeping her stomach flat and tight. And if you notice when you're doing an exercise, 
as then your stomach starts protruding, go back to the beginner level and slow it down and tighten. All right, ready? Now, this is a super hard one, too. You ready? She says, yes. All right. She says, let's do this. All right, now, I'm going to have her roll all the way back down, and we're going to do full lift on that X. So her feet are apart, her arms are apart. Ready? Here we go. And now she's going to tighten and pull and stretch everything out in the X and tighten and pull. Oh, my goodness. This is an awesome one. Strong core, strong back. Good. Exhale and squeeze. Good. Super, 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 super. Fantastic. Good. Just a couple more. Oh, yeah. One more. Ready? Awesome. Perfect. Good. All right. Now, I'm going to have a stretch your back. Just pull your knees to your chest. So, anytime your back bothers you, just pull those knees to your chest and take the pressure off of it. Now, let's roll over and talk about planks in lower back for a little bit. So as we talked about in our instructional video, the core make is the front of your body, but it's also the back. So we're going to work on the front and the back. I'm going to have her start with some basic planks. Now I'm going to have her do the first one on her knees. Okay, so if you can't do it on your toes yet, start on your knees. Okay, and you want to make sure that your shoulder and hip and your knees are still in good alignment. She has great alignment here. Do it wrong for me. Sink it down. This is a no-no. Okay or this is a no-no. So she wants to come down nice and flat, pulling her stomach in and tight. Good. All right, now we're gonna pick it up one level and do it on her toes. Ready? And go. Good. Again, shoulders are tight, glutes are tight, everything is pulled in. Excellent. Good. Now, from here, we're going to take it. There's so many variations. We're going to show you lifting feet and lifting arms. So I'm going to have her lift her feet first. So she's lifting. Perfect. And then she'll sit it down. And if you notice, she's adjusting her hips so that they're flat. So what I don't want to see, show them a wrong way, is tilting over and do the other side. Tilting over. Good. So if you notice, she's keeping her body flat and lifting straight up. Excellent. Good. Same thing if she is to lift her arms, whether she's tapping her shoulders or lifting her arms. You ready? So let's go up with her arms. Again, very strong. Very strong. It's hard, you guys. You really have to tighten your core. And again, you can put your feet out wider because it creates a bigger base and it makes it more stable. Good. Arms out in front. And she is nice and steady. Do a wrong one for me. So again, she would be reaching and rocking side to side. Perfect. So we're going to finish with a couple really nice ones. Good straight hips. Excellent. Now, why don't you push back into child's pose and rest her back. So I usually have people round out their back from that and just let take all the pressure off. Super. Okay, the other one we're going to go into that we use a lot are our bird dogs. Again, there's a lot of different levels. We're going to take you to level three, which is the most common that you see. And it's lift, lifting opposite arm and leg so that you can stay more balanced. All right, ready? Set and go. And she's going to lift and extend and hold. Good, perfect. Again, hips are square and tight. Good. So she's actually working her glute muscles here, working her lower back, and drawing her stomach in so she's got nice tight abs. Beautiful. Those look super great bird dog. Love it, love it, love it. Good. Okay, now from here, I'm going to have her lay all the way down and do a few supermans for us. So she's just getting a variety of things. So with her superman, if she puts her arms out in front of her, just like she's superwoman flying, right? Let's say superwoman. Superwoman. All right, so we're going to lift everything up. You ready? And go. So she's going to tighten her glutes and lift and everything up and down. And if you notice, she has great form right here. She's aligned really well. So overarch your neck for me. So what we don't want to do is lifting up and overarching her neck or hold it real far down. Really far down. Good. There you go. So what she wants to do is when she comes up is try to get a straight alignment between your elbows and your shoulders. Good. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and push into child's pose for me. So again, in between lower back exercises, I have everybody just stretch their lower back. This next one is called, I call it from jumping jack. Again, it's another lower back exercise. Will you feel them here in your lower back? Absolutely you will, because that's what we want to do is strengthen it. But it should be just a gentle tightening. You don't want to over tighten it. That's why we have you stretch. 
Okay, so her prone jumping jack, she's gonna extend her arms out, ready? And go, and lift her body up, and open everything like a jack, and then set it down. Lift, open, together, down. Lift, open, together, awesome, that looks super. So if she's getting upper body work, she's getting her upper back, her lower back, her glutes, and her hamstrings. Well, I did these this morning, and I was feeling those. One more. Super, and push back into child's pose. Good, again, rounding her back out, stretching her back. Good, awesome. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into some basic side planks, okay? So I'm gonna have her go on a side plank. You see side planks used a lot, and side planks are for your body and your obliques, okay? Because when you tighten there, you're gonna feel it right in that side. Now, if you look, she aligned herself perfectly. Her shoulder and her elbow are right in line. So do it wrong for me. Pull it up. Yep, and you can create excessive shoulder pressure. So what she wants to do is align it back up. And she doesn't want herself to sink into her shoulder. So sink for me, like this. So she's pulling herself up all nice and tight. Good. See the difference there? All right, so basic side plank. You ready? All right, here we go. It's her knees are bent, and she's going to lift straight up. Goodness, she can put her hand here. She can put it up. It doesn't matter or behind. Whatever works. But she's got her hips up and her legs. Perfect. Good. Okay, so the next level we're going to take her to is to extend her legs. Now, you can stack them. You can. I do nine feet tandem. It's easier on my knee here. But now she's lifting her whole body up. This is a lot harder. And her arms up. Super. Now, the other thing she's going to do, what she's doing is pulling that core in so everything is flat, compressed, and tight. So from here, I'm going to have her do what we call thread the needle. So it's a little bit more advanced. She's going to take it, rotate it, and pull it up. Beautiful, nice and slow and strong. And as you get stronger and stronger, you can even hold a dumbbell in this hand and curl it under and lift it up. Good. A few more here. Super. And if you notice, she's strong and steady, so she's actually working her legs, working her core, and her shoulders, getting a great workout. One more. Super and down. Good. So now I'm going to have her swing around because you did one side, we have to do what? The other. That's right. Okay, so she's got great position, aligning her shoulder. That was beautiful. And she is up. Okay, ready? Perfect. Got her side plank going. Great alignment. Looks super. If you notice, her shoulders are stacked. They're not rolled far back or rolled in. They're just nice and tight. Good. Pull your stomach in. Good core. Excellent. All right. From here, we're going to extend the legs out. Good. And then I'll have her take her arm up into the air. Good. Now, I notice she's in a straight alignment right here. That looks beautiful. Super. Nice and strong, engaging. You're gonna feel it right in the side, right here. She's like, yes. <laughs> the first time I did these, when I saw somebody do it, I thought, oh, that's nothing. But when I did it, it's like, oh my gosh, that's a lie now. Okay, ready? Now we're gonna thread the needle. Good. And again, slow and steady is the great pace. You'll be able to keep your balance better. You'll be able to focus and contract it. Remember, you gotta engage your mind. And to engage your muscles, think pull, think tighten. Think form, squeeze, hard, strong. All right, and one more. Super awesome. All right, now I'm going to have her just roll on her back. Stretch her knee, pull her knees to her chest, stretch her back out. Perfect. All right, we have a few more to finish up with you. This first one is called pelvic tilt. Again, it doesn't look like a lot, but if you do it right, you will see a dramatic change in your lower stomach. So T, so if they can see, I want to have her exaggerate. So put a big arch. So now you have space here. So to do a proper pelvic tilt, she's going to take that space out and she's going to scoop her pelvis up just like that and press this lower back down and tight. Let's do that one more time. So this is space, a pelvic tilt. She's going to push and tighten. Perfect. So what we're going to do is have her hold that. And I usually count to 10 with my clients. Have them inhale and then exhale and pull that stomach in. And every time I say a number, every time I'm counting, they're drawing it in tighter, drawing it in tighter, pulling, pulling, pulling. Good, and release. So let's do that a couple times. Inhale and exhale and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, excellent. Now we're gonna make that harder. Remember, if you change things and if you create weight on the end, you have to work your stomach harder to keep the position. So I always have them hold their position first. Now lift this foot just a little bit. There you go, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now hold this T. So with this weight here up, it makes your back want to arch and she's got to squeeze her stomach really hard to hold it down. And release. All right, let's do our other side. So she's going to tilt and lift her foot. And the whole time she's drawing that stomach and she's focusing mentally, right? She can do that. Pulling it in, pulling it in. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, let's take this, we're going to do a double lift, and then we're going to show you some, all, some variations of how to put them all together. So now, one foot was hard, but when you lift two feet, that's really hard. So first, get your position, tuck it down, and then she's going to lift both feet up, and it's just a little bit, okay? Because now, all this weight from her foot here and her leg makes her back want to arch, and she's got to push it down, flatten it down to keep it strong. Good, so we got a few more seconds. And if you're doing this properly, your abs literally like shake, right? Yeah, it's shaking. And release. Now let's say she's been doing those, she's doing great, so let's give you a little variation. So let's do the alternating taps. Okay, so now she's gonna push it back and tighten it. And now she's gonna lift these feet for a few, about 20 seconds, and she's gonna alternate her taps. One, two, perfect. Now the idea of this is slow and controlled. Because if she just moves her feet, well, you're moving your feet and you're not really getting a great ab workout. So she wants to push the back down, tighten it, and little bitty taps. Good. Couple more. All right, this is our last one. You ready? Double tap. So now she's going to double tap and pull it up. These work, oh my gosh, so much right here. You'll feel them everywhere, but especially right here. And ladies that have had babies, I want to see you doing these exercises. This will help you so much tighten right down here. And good. And you know what I'm talking about, right? So squeeze that stomach. Work that stomach. Make it work. Two more for me. Good. And last one. And excellent. Now she can rest. Good. So that was a full ab assault. Now you can take those exercises. You can lengthen them. You can do more than, we did about 20 seconds, which is about 10 to 15 reps depending on how fast or slow. Remember, slower control. Think about tightening it. Squeeze your stomach really hard. And then when you're finished, do just like T does. Drop your knees to the side, pull them into your chest, stretch your lower back out. Take the time to stretch. Perfect. Those are great. But take these exercises, practice these. These are all very basic exercises. The exercises that you see on different YouTubes or videos, they're all built off this. If you can get those basics down of learning how to squeeze your muscles, tighten, blow the air out, compress them down, you will have such better results. You gotta train them hard and then you also have to eat right, right? So you can work out really, really hard, but if you don't control what you eat, you'll never really see the muscles, okay? Tighten, strong, control, and eat healthy and live that positive life, right? So T says, yeah. Did you get a workout? I did, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, right? So take these exercises, stay in touch, and stay connected on our YouTube channel. Remember, give us a thumbs up on our videos. We really appreciate it. Our goal is to create videos that are informational, that have a good purpose, and that you can get great results with. So connect with us, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and keep checking back for more. Have a super day.